a special case of binomial product is when it's the same term twice. So A plus B times A plus B, that's a number times itself, so that's A plus B all squared. That's called the square of a binomial, sitting in here. So that's the square of a binomial, is that. And it's just a special case of what we did before, so let me go through and do it. If I go A plus B all squared, that's A plus B times A plus B. Now let me use my foil on that. So I will go first. That's A squared. Outside, plus AB. Inside, plus BA. And last, B squared. <coughs> Now, in here, A times B is the same as B times A. So they are, in fact, the same number, so I can collect the like term, terms and I get A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. And there is our formula for the square of a binomial. And I guess the reason this is sitting in your notes is that this occurs often enough that we hope that you will mesmerise it, that you memorise it and you can just write down the answer straight away. If you can't, it's not a disaster because you'll just multiply it out and get the answer. Okay? But if you can memorise the answer, then you'll do it quicker, that's all. And likewise, A minus B all squared will be A minus B times A minus B. And again, if I do the FOIL on that, I will get A squared minus AB minus BA plus B squared, because minus B times minus B is plus B squared. And so that becomes A squared minus 2AB plus B squared. And so we end up with both of these formulas. And so I'd say they're reasonably important as well. let's have a go. Let's do these ones. It says 3x plus 2y all squared. That will become, according to my formula up here, I mean you can multiply it out if you want to, but I will just say, look, it's got to be 3x all squared plus 2 times 3x times 2y plus 2y all squared. First number squared, two times the first number and the second number, plus the last number squared. So 3x all squared is 9x squared. Two times three times two will be 12. That's plus 12xy. And lastly here, plus 4y squared. And there is my square of that particular binomial. The second one's a little bit more complicated because we've got to do things twice. It says expand out this particular expression. What I'll do is I'm going to do that term first, then I'll do the second term, then I'll add them together. So let's go 2x plus 2y all squared. That will be 2x all squared plus 2 times 2x times 2y plus 2y all squared. And in here I will get 4x squared plus 8xy plus 4y squared. Likewise, x minus 2y all squared will be x squared minus 2 times x times 2y plus 2y all squared which I can write as x squared minus 4xy plus 
four y all squared. And so now I want to add those two numbers together. And so I will have 2x plus 2y all squared plus x minus 2y all squared. It will be, in here it will be, 4x squared plus 8xy plus 4y squared plus x squared minus 4xy plus 4y squared. So there's my algebraic expression with the grouping symbols expanded out and now I can collect like terms. So I've got 4x squared plus x squared will give me, there's no others, no, so that's 5x squared I've got 8xy minus 4xy's, so that will leave me with just 4xy's. And then I've got 4y squared plus 4y squared will give me 8y squared. And so this number and this number are the same thing.